What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Wolf Cryer here, and Diablo Immortal is being delayed. Initially, this game, which takes Blizzard's fan favorite Diablo franchise to the mobile gaming sector, was set for release later this year. After the latest round of feedback given to the Immortal team, headed up by Wyatt Chang, changes and additions to end game systems will force that release back to sometime in the first half of 2022. While there are many itching to get their hands on Diablo Immortal, and some frustration I'm sure, this, in my opinion, is a decision that should be made on the development level rather than based on the feelings of fans eager to play it. Blizzard needs to nail this one. Diablo Immortal, as I have previously said, will most likely be one of, if not the absolute biggest, action role-playing game on mobile devices. Set in the world of Sanctuary, the Diablo Immortal storyline takes place after Diablo 2 with new and familiar characters and enemies to challenge players in a game that takes after Diablo 3 aesthetically. I've played Diablo Immortal during the first alpha phase and absolutely enjoyed my time with the game and while due to health issues and time constraints was not able to play as much during the second phase, I was able to catch a few streams here and there and the new endgame systems that were implemented during that phase were very interesting to watch and looked rather enjoyable. To me, the game feels like an updated version of Diablo 3, and the storyline, while nowhere near finished during my own playthrough, held my interest and exceeded my expectations. But then again, this is Blizzard, and they usually do very well when it comes to telling the stories that they want to tell. Diablo Immortal captures the feel of Diablo, in my opinion, and I personally can't wait to play it again. But they need to get it right. There is absolutely no room for error here. So I personally applaud the team's decision to halt plans to release Diablo Immortal and continue its development until it is 100% ready. During this added time, the team will continue making adjustments to end game systems like bounties, PvP balance, matchmaking, and ranking systems, as well as adding more eight-man raids. And they are adding controller support for the game. I personally can't wait to see what's to come from this development team. And like I said, I am very much looking forward to Diablo Immortal's release, but it needs to be perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I always greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let me know down in that comment section down below your thoughts on Diablo Modal, your thoughts on the pushback for its release date, and what you think of this video. All right, once again, thank you so very much, and you all have a fantastic day. Peace.